What's going on Algebros? It's Mr. C here and in this video what I'd like to do is show you how to find a local maximum and local minimum on the graph of a function and the function I'm going to be using is the function from page 3 of the section 3.3 uh, note packet. Alright so let's get to it. <clears throat> the first thing you want to do is go to the y equals menu and the function is equal to x cubed minus 4x plus 1 so in y1 that's what you're going to enter you'll enter x cubed minus 4x plus 1 and then hit zoom 6 for the standard viewing window and it appears as though there is a local maximum and it would be this point in quadrant 2 uh, there's also going to be a local minimum uh, which is going to be um, corresponding to this point that's in quadrant 4. Uh, let's start with the local maximum. What you want to do is hit second trace and choose option 4. For your left bound you want to go to the left of the high point. Somewhere right there is good enough. You can go ahead and hit enter. For the right bound you want to go on the other side. Alright somewhere right there is good enough. Go ahead and hit enter. And now you'll take the blinking cursor and try to get it as close to that high point as possible. That looks good to me, so press enter. And it gives us the coordinates of the local maximum. So the local maximum value uh, happens at negative 1.15, if rounding to two decimal places. And the actual value of the local maximum is roughly 4.08. Now for the local minimum, what we'll do is hit second trace again choose option 3. For left bound we want to be to the left of the low point so maybe somewhere right here on the graph is good for a left bound so let's right arrow over to it and right there is good enough go ahead and hit enter alright that's your left bound and for your right bound we'll go on the other side alright that looks to be good enough go ahead and press enter and now we'll move the blinking cursor close to that low point. I'm satisfied with that. Hopefully you are. We'll go ahead and hit enter. And the calculator displays the x coordinate of the local minimum and the y coordinate there. So this local minimum is at x equals, well x is roughly 1.15 and the value of the local minimum is roughly negative 2.08. Alright and that's how we do it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to let me know if you have any questions. Have a good day.